Hello all, welcome back. This is Krista Baldina from Trinity Software. In this video, let us see how to use ChatGPT in Python. Let me give a brief overview of ChatGPT. It is an AI chatbot that uses natural language processing to create human-like conversations. This GPT model can answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect promises and reject inappropriate requests. Unlike other chatbots, ChatGPT can remember previous questions to continue the conversation in a more smooth way. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer which refers to how ChatGPT processes the request and formulates the responses. ChatGPT is created and launched in 2022 by OpenAI which is a private artificial intelligence research and deployment company. ChatGPT uses deep learning to produce human-like text. And people use ChatGPT to code computer programs, compose music, draft emails and for solving mathematical problems. The limitations, the training data ended with 2021 content. It lacks knowledge for data and events after 2021. And ChatGPT can also provide incorrect information based on the data from which it pulls. Okay, now let's see about ChatGPT API. OpenAI's ChatGPT API is built on the GPT model which was trained on enormous amount of text data to produce human-like language. This API is useful for developers to construct chatbot capabilities. We can make requests to the API by using the create method of chat completion to produce the text and we can process the response from the API. We extract and show the produced text in your application. Okay. So now let us see the steps in using ChatGPT API in our Python code. First you need to go to openaa.com website and click sign up. After signing up you can log in. So you have to select API now. Click on personal and then click view API keys in your account. Here I have already created a secret key. You can just click on this create new secret key. You can give a name to it and save the secret key. After this you can install OpenAI library in command prompt using pip install OpenAI. So let's start by importing OpenAI. We have to assign the key that we have generated already to openai.api underscore key equal to within quotes you can give your API key here. Okay, now you can store the conversations in a messages list to provide more relevant responses. Messages list has a dictionary with two keys, role and content. Role is to distinguish between different speakers in the conversation. It can be any one of these things, system, user or assistant. Typically a conversation is formatted with the system message first followed by alternating user and assistant messages. System will be used only in the first prompt to give the chat engine some guidelines on its personality and how to respond and interact with the user. And the user is the one who gives the instructions. And we use this assistant role to store prior responses so that we can build a conversation history when user instructions refer to prior messages. And finally the content represents the actual message received from the specified role. We can change the initial system message to create different styles of chatbots. You can try different system prompts to see how the responses change accordingly. So the conversations can be as short as one message or many back and forth turns. Now let's try for one message. So let me create the messages list equal to a list. Within that we have this dictionary role. Initial role is system and content is tell some technical names okay chat models take a list of messages as input and return a model generated response as output so we can make use of the create method of chat completion which will create a model response for the given chat conversation so chat equal to open ai dot chat completion dot create method the first parameter is the model model equal to gpt hyphen 3.5 hyphen turbo okay specifies the model to be used for that conversation 
You can also experiment with GPT 3.5 Turbo 0.6.3 which is the latest uh, updated version of the model and GPT 4, Text DaVinci, Text Bavish, Text Rada, etc. And the second argument is the messages list itself. Messages equal to messages. These two are the mandatory arguments of create method. Fine. Now the reply can be extracted using this statement. Reply equal to chat. Many choices will be returned. We need only the first choice. So to return the first choice, choices of zero dot message dot content. That's it. Then we can just print the reply from the chat GPT. Let's execute it now. The question was tell some technical means. So it has listed out 10 technical means. So there are some optional parameters in openai.chatcompletion.create method to generate a response. Uh, first one is max underscore tokens parameter. This will set the maximum number of tokens that is the words that the model should generate. The default length is fixed at 2048 tokens. So here max underscore tokens equal to fixing it as 500. Okay. Let me give a different thing. Tell a story. And execute it. So we got a story. Okay. You can also have temperature parameter. It controls the level of randomness in the generator test. So typically a default temperature would be around 0 0.7. So this value allows for a balance between generating creative responses and maintaining a certain level of consistency and relevance. So if you give temperature equal to 0, it means that the same input will give you the same output every time. So if you are fine with the fixed outputs, you can go for temperature equal to 0. Otherwise, you can have a greater value for randomness in the generator test. Here let me give temperature is equal to 1. So let us execute it now. Now we got a different story. Fine. Okay. Now we can modify our code by using an infinite while loop so that we can chat with chat GPT API repeatedly. We will change this content here. Give a generalized statement. You are an intelligent assistant. Then we will use the while loop here. While to take input from the user and store it in a variable called message. Got to input user okay and if the message contains by or quit then we can come out of this loop break else we can append the question from the user to the messages list with the user role and it will send the list to the chat completions create method which will return the chat engine's response. So here messages dot append method passing the dictionary role colon the role is user and the content is the message. After this this list is sent to the create method. Okay, open a dot chat completion dot create model. Let me use a different model here. GPT 3.5 turbo hyphen 0613. This is the updated version of GPT 3.5 turbo. Later in this video, I will be discussing about the advantages of this model, updated model. Okay, here I am not adding this temperature parameter. This is fine. Then we need the chat engine's response. Uh, we will place that inside this while loop. Print the response in the formatted string. Reply. So finally we have to append the reply to the messages list with the assistant. So let me give messages dot append role assistant and content is the reply. Okay, now let's execute the code. So we can have a conversation with the chat GPT in this way. So we can ask as many queries as we want until you exceed the API rate limit. We can check this from here. This usage link 
free trial usage allotted will be five dollars out of which how much we have used will be shown here okay you can find the api usage from this link people use gpt for many purposes so this also supports language translation you can provide a text in one language and ask the api to translate it into another language translate to tamil and giving hi how are you okay so here we got an error that that model is currently overloaded with other request you can retry your request so we can change the model here 3.5 turbo itself we'll execute it again now we got it the next time when you want to translate some other text we need not give translate to tamil again you can just give the sentence i am learning python that's the use of assistant role we can also use api for sentiment analysis given a text the api will tell you whether it has a positive or negative sentiment do sentiment analysis for this line my new laptop it makes my day a lot easier it gave the overall sentiment as positive some other statement so i am not sure if i like the new design it will do the sentiment analysis it is neutral okay now i need the chat gpt to write a code okay write a python code to sort a list of numbers so sort a list of numbers it has given the answer using the built in function sort now i want the code without using the built in function so let me give without using built in function here the code is given and the explanation is also written here okay this api also supports question answering that is you can provide a context and a question and the api will return an answer based on the context i'm giving a sentence my name and some details about my family so this is a context and i have typed enter i didn't ask any question right now it has just translated it into tamil the tamil translation is not up to the mark okay now let me ask the question how many siblings do i have so this is question answering in nlp so it has given the answer correctly okay this chat gpt can also identify grammar errors it is not a dedicated grammar checking tool it may miss some errors you can either give correct grammar or check grammar so here i am giving correct grammar and the number of mails arriving or overwhelming so it has corrected the grammar okay fine now i just want to leave from this chat let me give okay bye so we have come out of this this gpt 3.5 turbo model has been updated with this new version turbo 0613 and it was released on june 2023 this is more steerable with the system message and includes a new capability called function calling so in an api call we can describe functions to this model and have the model intelligently choose to output a json object containing arguments to call those functions and the next advantage is that a longer context chat gpt was limited to a context length of 4096 tokens so this model offers four times the context length that is 16k context window and the prices are comparatively low with this model okay so gpt 3.5 is primarily a text tool whereas gpt 4 is able to understand images so if you provide it with a photo it can describe what is in it understand the context of what is there and make suggestions based on it Right now it's possible only with the GPT-4 API which you can only access as a developer in order to get GPT-4 API you need to join the GPT-4 API waitlist okay that's it about using chat gpt for python coding thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe